Good morning, dear listeners. Today we start a new episode of the No Agentology podcast series based on my book, No Agentology, a compendium of wisdom teachings pointing out the timelessness of all phenomena. Today we speak about uh, the unreality fantasy of a one-sided self-appearing reality. So, um, briefly, the mind's self-manifested appearances within conditioned existence always follow the alternation of opposites according to the principle of rhythm, cyclicity, vibration and cause and effect. As we already uh, spoken about the seven laws of reality and according to the cosmology of some Eastern wisdom tradition, <clears throat> on a macrocosmic scale, epochs of heaven-like appearances in the human dimension slowly ge- degenerate into hellish dimensions of existence and to then slowly improve back to the same heavenly-like appearances. So this is according to the rhythm and cyclicity. According to the same traditions, uh, the multidimensional universe is uh, inhabited by different kinds of beings living in very different self-manifested dimensions. So some beings live in hell dimensions, some in heaven-like dimensions as gods or demigods, and some in animal dimensions, and some in dimensions of uh, starving spirits. So in our own observable human dimension, it can easily be noticed that on a relative level of good and bad circumstances, uh, this can easily alternate on a small and large scale so good circumstances bad circumstances good and bad uh, they alternate according to the low rhythm the low cause and effect the low vibration <clears throat> so to imagine a one-sided reality within conditioned existence is not really realistic it's simply not possible because conditioned ex- appearances and existence are dualistic in nature so they always have to alternate uh, on a macrocosmic level and on a on a on a small scale on the human dimension or a personal uh, experience so the only realistic solution is to recognize the source of all appearances which is a timeless pure state of being uh, that is beyond all the other laws of reality and integrate and therefore dissolve all the one's mind judgments and apprehension, attachments, fears, good and bad experiences into that knowledge. And that is really the ultimate only solution. Uh, On a more relative level, if uh, obviously that's a very, very high state of experience of reality, but on a more relative level, one can at least work with different mind trainings in order to abide in the present moment and that that is trying to reduce the grasping to tight judgments and train in a more positive attitude to any kind of appearances and work with the principle of rhythm, the principle of cause and effect or the principle of vibration, Uh, for example using positive affirmations uh, and different methods of uh, mind training, uh, mindfulness, positive thinking, And all these methods uh, can be employed in order to uh, remain within the present moment and uh, try not to be uh, sort of uh, swayed by the um, changing alternating appearances and uh, and experiences. And uh, as uh, abiding in the present moment means to observe everything uh, with a slightly detached attitude Uh, towards what is manifesting and this is obviously not the ultimate realization of liberation because within liberation there is no dualistic experience of an observer and something observed but we already spoken uh, quite a lot about that and uh, so for the moment we stop here Uh, this is just a brief introduction more information can be found in the book uh, this book and also the seven laws of reality and being uh, my other book um, which goes in depth about the seven laws of reality so thank you very much for listening and um, links to the books are in the comments